I'm back. I'm so, well, I'm still back, obviously. But I'm back and back. I'm back again. Just in case you thought I wasn't back. But I am back. Because I'm back. And now I'm back. Well, I am back. I'm, I mean, I'm legitimately back is what I mean. What am I trying to say here? I'm saying I'm, I'm painting again. Uh, which means I'm back. So I'm not literally back. I'm, someone's calling me. Oh my gosh. And that's the intro. You'll see the curtains moved. Oh wow, straight into the gallery. Um, how do I re rectify my... Is that weird? Do I jump through bigger or am I the same? I feel like I'm slightly bigger there. Slightly smaller. Anyway, how long has it been? Two weeks? Two beautiful weeks. I've finished now completely editing all of the Monty footage, which uh, is a breath of fresh air. Is that the right saying? Or oh, it feels great to not have to worry about that. And that's not to say it was a worry. Like, it wasn't playing on my mind. It wasn't like, oh, when am I going to get those edits done? No, it was more like really nice to get it done out the way. Actually, because, yeah, as you know, you know, before Monty, I wasn't so, like, passionate about um, El Paintering. Oh, the Spanish. Uh, and then when I came back, I was, like, really ready to go. And then, obviously, I was sitting on all this footage, and I got Lionel like this every day, nonstop non-stop just like Jay when's it going out you've got to do your job you're, you're such a slacker he doesn't say any of this um so I had all that stuff it doesn't play in your mind what I'm saying basically I'm, I'm glad to have the footage out now I'm finished and it's like yeah sweet now I've done that thing that I really enjoy doing I can go and paint again so obviously I've been painting again uh which is what my last cast or video I don't know what to call it alludes to so is the fruits of my labour, which you... Oh, actually, it's the wrong gallery, isn't it? Fruits of the labour. I, I feel like I should film this in a higher resolution because that's such an interesting point. Let me... Oh, but then if I mix resolutions... Basically, I think I can... I'm filming uh, at the native resolution of my monitor. But... Yeah, why? Because their images are big. Anyway, this is... This is um, well, that is the one fruit of one labour. That's the, the model I started in. So I'm talking about the middle, uh, the Beltan Eldar Farsia um, from second edition, but I think third edition, someone told me. Yeah. Um, I started him in Austria, and he is a conversion done by Juan Diaz, as everybody who watches every episode will know. I don't know if I ever released like an unboxing I had of all the, all the models. I don't know, but I love it. I have to say, I, w I walk past now. He's just there, and when I go and look at him, it, 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 it like seriously, it brings me joy, uh, which is weird because a I painted it. I don't know if that's weird in itself, but I painted it, and um, I don't know. I just it, 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 it was a bit of a struggle at the end. Like I was quite glad to be done with it, but um, from like a. I never thought I'd enjoy it as much as I did by look, looking at it in the cabinet, if that makes sense. I look at it and I go, oh, that could be the original. But I don't think it. I think that looks like the original, which is exactly what I wanted, actually. But to give some context, that's the Hubba shirt. Wait, what is it? What is it? it? The Elder Project. That's part of the Elder Project, which, by the way, I should go back and look at that video, is an impossible task. Um, how many models have I got done from it? One, the Avatar, the Wraith Lord, the Wraith Guard, the Farseer, the Warlock, Ilthwi, and the Thing. And there's probably like 200 models I need to paint. I suppose I've done the jet bikes as well. Anyway, but this is the guy I did most recently. So after Monty, I did him. Um, I don't know how, I mean, it's not really complex, is it? Like three days probably. And it was so fun. It was so fun, especially going from like this harder thing where it took me, it really, I dragged it out. I don't know if I dragged it or, ah, no, what it is, is when I'm doing these Elder Project ones, right? Elder Project, Elder Project. I have to do it one for one. So I have to replicate exactly like 100% as far as I can, obviously, to what they are in the White Dwarf. Um, but this one, I just painted, just made it up. I mean, it's not hard to make up a black color scheme with a white head, is it really? But I did make it up. But it meant I could go really fast. And I didn't think I was painting like naturally. Whereas when I paint in this mode, it's not really natural, to be honest, because 
every brushstroke I'm having to look back at the codex, look blah blah blah. So yeah, it's um, it's just a little different, really. Me, me, me. Yeah. So, I'm I'm really happy with this, uh, and it's like hardcore tabletop, but I just like it. I didn't actually paint the base, I don't think properly, but um, yeah, I, I like it. Um, and here, here they are together, best friends forever. Um, oh man, those two, they look fucking brilliant, if I don't say so myself. And I don't mean from painting. <laughs> Interestingly, I need to paint his rim green. But the Warlock and the Guardian, it makes me slightly inspired to paint more. I've started a new model, and it's uh, the yellow guys, who Altoki, Altok, I guess. Um, Farsia from 3rd Edition Elder. And actually painting yellow is not that fun for me. But I'll probably get back and do another Guardian after this. Um, and this leads on actually to David Colwell's Elder that he posted. So this was the other model I started bef after the flag guy, before the Elder Yellow. And, and um, yeah, I kind of got stuck, truth be told. I, like, I was happy to plow away, but I thought, actually, let's do something I more enjoyed. Or I wanted more movement, less, less maybe learning. So I got... I, I did do more than this. I did some highlights and stuff, but this is the only photo I had of it. So this is from the 75 mil elder I've got. That um, Joaquin, 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 Joaquin did for me. Oh, see, this shows how I've been so scared of doing bases, right, for like the last three years. Some weird fear. Um, my cat's just trying to get in. Yeah, not to say, I don't know how to explain it. My cat's, no. Ah, God damn it, cat. He's here now. Enjoy. Um, yeah, that's not to say I don't know what it was. It was just this crippling fear, internal fear somehow, of um, it must have been failure. I don't know. I don't know what it was really. I just I was too scared to paint, even though I had excuses like yeah I was working two jobs or I had a baby who was just born. Or ultimately they are excuses. If if you really want to do something, I think you'll do it. So and don't get me wrong. I was busy. Blah blah blah. No stress. Blah blah blah. But yeah. So now I'm I'm kind of well temporarily past that anyway but yeah i thought i'd uh include this because of how bad milliput is when it's really old um the way it's kind of like that thing the the brownie darker substance like obviously the yellow and the, the, the gray it's so hard i had to cut that with a scalpel to get that out as you can see and then i could <clears throat> merge it but the um the base i produced i'm not happy with it at all i'm happy with it in that i did it do you know what i mean like i actually just did one which oh spoiler i haven't got the one from the front so i did like a rock face and the, i got a warlock that was going to sit on top of it um and a cat a warlock cat an elder cat a grinix a grinx i don't know what they're called but um the point was i just did it and i cared a lot less about the results so i was just happy to do it and i was and i am and i'm not going to use the base because it's bad but i learned from it and i feel like that's a big step for for someone like me who didn't want to do it. Do you know what I mean? I was thinking today, I should have done the whole episode, this was like a few days ago, in Australian. I talked like that, mate. Yeah, and then I was going down. Is that... I, I, pff, trouble is, could I keep it up? I don't know. So, the bases. This is what I got at Monty. Um, everybody said stuff like, Jay, you don't even paint. Why are you buying stuff? Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think only... Albert and Lionel said that, or maybe even just Lionel. Um, and it is a fair, um, <laughs> fair thing. But I was like, you know what? I got that vibe. I can feel it. I can feel it. I got ideas for these bases, but obviously I want to get a little bit better um, before I do them. So like the one on the top left there of that image with the big hole, that's going to be a slave pit uh, with elders, dark elder obviously, or just elder for real, not elder elder, craft world elder, but elder old, uh, you know crowded around it with money in their hands betting on these people who are dying might be a bit too involved I might have come up with something new because to make that like really good I'd have to have like a lot of elder on the outside like jumping over each other to look we'll see but anyway those bases are bought from a man who was at what's it called Monty selling these bases um, I think in the end they were actually like 200 euros so they weren't cheap um, not at all but I haven't bought anything in like two years three years it's not true, I bought stuff, but you know, not much. 
so yeah i think that concludes the personal stuff it's it's so good to be back i'm really back still and painting most days like i still have a little bit of 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 you know where i'm sitting on the computer and i'll i, I logged out of facebook because it was killing me um where i'll just be doing nothing so then i have to actively still remember okay get off and go on paint and yeah you know it helps and thus we look at other people's things so this model uh was before i'm still come on one sec momo that's my cat yeah it's quite hard to tickle and talk um i i'm sadly i don't remember who did this because it was like two weeks ago but i saw it and loved it and then they posted this like work in progress thing i saw the the green one first because <sighs> That's basically what I want to create, and then and then create more dioramas around it. I think if I don't start painting, they might even be putting water in because they look like pebbles from a river, but maybe not. Um, yeah, the colours, the greenness, that real like floral feeling uh, of moss and everything is something that I want to do badly. And I think without doing the things that I'm doing, trying stuff, I'll never get there. So this photo was an inspiration. It definitely was because I saw this and I was like, right, let me get back to basing because that's something I. I've always wanted to do, but I think it came at a funny time. But anyway, yeah, it's something I've always wanted to do. Do you know what I mean? I do. So Angel, I think it's Angel. Angel, Angel, Angel. I mean, I'm tempted to say Angel, but I know it's not Angel. Angel, and it's got to be Giraldes. Giral, Giraldes, Giraldes, Giraldes. Galades. The problem is with these things, right, is I hear Spanish people talking it and they're just like, eh, hey, Angel Galades. And you're like, yeah, that, that is the name. But then we. S anyway, Angel Galades. I like these models a lot. I have no idea what they're for or like company wise or anything. Um, I don't think I need to uh, because I like them. The, the owl, the beard, the hat, and the paint job is really cool actually um it really has a cold feeling the bases obviously help it but somehow the paint job as well i think there's a lot of cold throughout all the pieces interesting there's a lot of green but they're kind of like they're not like you know proper warm green they're still green but i'm pretty sure there's blue in them uh so as a trio i thought he's done well well done <laughs> well done well done if that means anything coming from me um yeah but i like it Oh yeah, Liam paints stuff. That's I didn't make that up either, right? That is his. Um, that is his. You'll know who he is. That is his Instagram name. Um, and interestingly, like Joe or Tezza did a whole load of salamanders. I'm pretty sure this is salamanders uh, with a similar kind of vibe on the on the motif above and the the loin cloth. Uh, but when I see green, ugh, obviously Juan's been doing all the stuff for me, and I just love it. I don't even know if this is even green stuff. It looks quite quite white. It could be some epoxy or something. Like it looks a bit too crisp to be green, except for like the the cloak and the thing on the spear. But the mid the chest looks like sculpture or something. But anyway, I like it a lot. Looking forward to seeing the painted version, but the conversion that was good, man. It's a shame it's Space Marines. Like, you know, you've let yourself down there, to be honest. Cause personally, it should be older. You know, and uh, uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you know, um, Moses. I'm assuming Yao. I don't know. I don't want to assume. Uh, he had a couple of things, and I was like, they're quite cool. They are quite cool because sketchy, very sketchy. Um, but the volumes are so good that it works. And I've been trying to do volumes, and I'm still not there yet. Uh, but I'll keep trying. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. Um, <laughs> This is the same bloke. I also thought the definition on the face was, was quite crisp and then it gets looser as it goes out, which is quite a nice contrast. Um, and I thought the hand that he's painted in the back there is an exceptionally good hand. So, you know, as a whole piece together, pretty good. Um, and then here we've got Moses again, living life. I don't know if this is a box art or what. I don't need to know. All I know is I like it. That's the most important thing. Um, I think I have seen some good renditions of this model, actually. Weird. Weird that no one paints any dragon head model stuff this good. Just saying. Um, yeah, Oliver Spath. Spath. I mean, I know you, Oliver, well enough to butcher your German name. But I like this again. Obviously, basing animals, creatures. 
small, uh, but I thought it was cool. I want to make a joke about the, the, the mum rabbit there and that being a baby, but I won't because that'll be inappropriate. Um, but like for me, it's like another thing, isn't it? What's the word? It's like a diorama base. It's a little narrative, which is the stuff I love. So I need to get back to, to that. Actually, I've, I did do a base with you. And it's not there. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. Probably in the loft. That's not the, the most important thing is that I did it. So I should get back on it and I will. That is a promise. Um, but I did like this very much actually. Andrew Jones, Space Toy Designs. Can't butcher your name, can I? Do you know the whole name thing now? Now I've had like two separate people tell me that um, I get names wrong. It's it's weird because now like the illusion that I had before that I was getting names right uh, has gone. Or at least not getting them so wrong. Or, or A, that it was a thing, right? I didn't know it was a thing. Anyway, I like this a lot. I like the fact that it's a bloke with a bloody pipe, but he's a bird. He's actually a budgie and a fucking top hat. It's not top hat, I mean, I know that. I don't know what they're called, actually. Um, they're like what the little blokes wear, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, the base is cool. The bird's cool. I'm assuming you can buy that model. It's not a custom sculpt. And I think he's got something that's probably a sword. So he could be a pirate. Could be a pirate. Chilling out on the old bay, looking out at what else is there. And that's it, man. That is... That's Hupper 101. It's just nice to be back. Obviously, it's a Monday. Don't normally normally record on Fridays, but uh, had a lot going on. If you could hear a difference in today's recording audio, I would like to hear it. Because that was what took so long to get this all <laughs> all up and running, um, was getting the stuff for this. So, yeah, man. It's good to be back. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Christmas. Um, I love you. That was how I said I love you to my wife the first time. It went really awkward afterwards. She tricked me, actually. She said, um, I said, what do you think of these CDs? She goes, I love them. And I go, I love you. And I was like, so we'd only been together like two weeks. <sighs> it's was embarrassing, wasn't it? 